Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a course search on the Bristol website. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to the website at bristolcc.edu. Once the page loads about halfway down on the right, you'll see a box that says find a course. This is where you can do the course search. The first box is for the term, the second box is for the campuses, and the third box is for the subject. So if I click on the first box, it will show me fall 2020 and summer 2020. That's because registration is open for both and you can pick the the uh, term that you're trying to register for. So for this, I'm just going to say fall. With the campus box, if you open it, it will show you the drop down of all the campuses we have so that you can pick a specific campus that you want. Like if you only want to take classes in New Bedford, you would click New Bedford and so on. But for this, I'm just going to leave it as all campuses. And then in the subject box, it's the same thing. It's a drop down so you can pick the subject that you want. But for this, I'm just going to leave it as account. So once you have that, just hit search. And then once you hit search, this is what the screen will look like. It will show you the term at the top. So fall, it's highlighting all campuses, accounting, like I said. And then this box, it highlights every single accounting course being offered this semester for the fall semester. So I don't want to see all of these. So I'm just going to click on accounting 101, which is the course that I want. And then I'm going to hit search. And when I do that, it will pull up every section of accounting 101 being offered at all the campuses since I did leave it as all campuses. And one of the things to remember about the screen is the way to read it. So if you are looking for a class in person, for example, Accounting 101, which is section number 90518, you would look at it as a downwards L. So you'd start at the CRN and work your way to the right and then go down so that you know that that section is being offered Mondays and Wednesdays in Fall River. This is to ensure that you're registering for the correct course because sometimes it can get confusing the way this is set up. So if you remember it that way, you'll be able to ensure that you're going into the right section. And then on the right, you'll see something that says seats available. If you double click on that, it will bring up the classes that have the most seats available to the top so that you can go through and register for those courses. So the ones that have no seats are all the way at the bottom. And this is the only number that you need to be able to register for a course, which is a for example, 90523 is the CRN number for this first section here. Um, one thing to know is that if you're looking for a fully online class, the campus will always say Fall River. So you'd have to look at course type where it says fully online to ensure that it's 100% online. Now, if you scroll down um, Lecture Lab, it will tell you the type of course, like how it's being offered. This one's being offered in person. And this one's fully online. And then if it was a hybrid, it would say, uh, lecture hybrid. And then the other good thing about the screen, for example, this section of Accounting 101 um, is telling you that it's restricted to first year business block students only. That means that unless you're in that program, you can't register for this section. And you don't really see these notes in Access BCC, which is why I prefer to use the course search on the website. Um, but let's say, for example, I now want to look at summer courses, I can hit summer 2020. Let's say I just want it online. I can click Bristol online and let's say I wanted art. I can click on art. It will show you the courses that are being offered in the summer in that subject area. And let's say I wanted to look for art 105. I will just click art 105 and hit search. And then it will show you the sections being offered and here's a CRN number. So when you go to register yourself for the classes, this is all you need to be able to do that. But if you do have any questions or any problems, please reach out to your advisor.